Yo! Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good morning. I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. <laughs> Okay, why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka. Close your eyes, everyone. That should be enough. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Nori-chan. <laughs> oh, it must be tough for you. But that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person, <laughs> she's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? What's so great about an idol, anyway? Right, class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait! What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Risei's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a striptease show. Huh? A striptease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. The rumor about the midnight channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. are next week. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah, if by a while you mean all the time. Shut up! Like you've ever seen my scores. But Chie always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. Hey, why did you tell him? My scores just vary. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Say chan you too? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Oh yeah, what do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that the crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. 
Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Cause there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Ha, <laughs> you sound like you speak from experience, Risa-chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Ah, uh, I don't get this at all. Yeah, two victims in a row from our school. That's gotta set off the police's alarm bells. They're not gonna leave any stones at school unturned. You know, to be honest, somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now, I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what! Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. You! There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why is that? Apparently the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? All right, so why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. I felt I should at least let you know that. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? <laughs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus, we made a promise. <laughs> Yosuke. A game. <laughs> that may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests. And we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case, either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. What was that about? He just said his piece and left. Hmm. He said they have a suspect, but is this really gonna solve everything? <sighs> Who knows? <laughs>